Welcome back to the Amoretti Test Kitchen. It's great to have you here. We have been quite busy and having a lot of fun with nut flowers. And we'd like to share one of our favorite recipes with you, which is a pecan fudge bar. Let's get started. Our first step is to make our cake. And we are going to start by whipping our egg whites until they form stiff peaks. This will take anywhere from a minute and a half to two and a half minutes, depending on your equipment. Our next step is to mix the pecan flour with the sugar until it is well blended. And then we will mix the pecan flour and sugar into our egg whites. Now, even though I say mix, it's actually a gentle folding process. There is a big difference. Um, please make sure that you are not going too rapidly or that you are not beating down the egg whites. Then we will take our mixed egg white sugar and pecan flour and we will pour it into a pre-buttered, um, roughly 9 by 13 deep dish. Try and even it out so that you will have all the corners and the center roughly uh, the same height. Easiest way, of course, to accomplish this is to just tap it down at the end. We will then take our batter, our cake batter, and we will put it into a preheated 350 degree oven and we will bake this for about 40 minutes. A bit of note, um, I love to turn this batter a couple, at least a couple of times during baking. We are then going to make our topping. We will combine our sugar and cocoa, mix it well. Take our egg yolks, which are left behind from taking our egg whites, and we're gonna mix it until it is smooth. We will add our butter and put it on for medium to low heat. Wait until it is just warm enough so it starts to melt. Then we will add our cocoa and sugar mixture and combine it a little bit. And then we will add our egg yolks. Now the addition of the egg yolks, the timing is rather crucial because you obviously don't want the mixture in the pan to be too hot because then you're just simply gonna scramble eggs. Uh, so it needs to be cool enough, but already starting to melt and combine. We continue our mixing and heating, constantly stirring. As you can see, this will take a little bit of time. Be patient with it. Once everything has melted and you have a rather thick but still flowing mixture is when it is time to take it off the heat. Once we have taken our topping off the heat, we are going to mix in our beautiful Amoretti espresso compound. We will mix in a half a teaspoon and combine really well. The aroma of this is going to be just lovely. We will have a little bit of settling and it is absolutely normal and wanted that the batter will pull away from the sides of our baking dish. So don't be concerned about that. We will pour our chocolate mixture, our fudge mixture, over the cooled cake and as you can see it needs to be smoothed and tucked into corners and once you are satisfied with the coverage then you again just simply tap it down to even it. Here is when the, where the fun part comes in. We will only keep the cake in the oven at 350 degrees for about three minutes. Yes, three minutes. Once our three minutes are up, we will turn off the heat, but do not take the cake out. Just leave it in the oven for about 15 minutes. This is going to start the cooling process and it is going to uh, give us the texture of the topping that we want to have. Once the 15 minutes have expired, then we will open our oven door and leave the cake in with the open door no heat for another 15 minutes. And once that has happened, you can see that you're going to have this really pretty, almost marbleized texture on top that does not break. It actually forms a little crust, but it underneath it, it is creamy and wonderful and oh my God, so satisfying, lovely. I most certainly hope that you had enjoyed being with us today.
For this recipe and a lot more, please visit us at amorettiblog.com. And of course, at any time, if you wish to see an ingredient used or would like to have a recipe, please email us at blog at amoretti.com. See you next time. Okay, everyone can come and get it now. Thanks again for joining us today. Below you can find a link to our store, as well as recipes developed in the Amoretti Test Kitchen. If you want to see our previous recipe, be sure to click the video next to me. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all of our updates. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pomegranate balsamic vinegar with one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of garlic extract, and one teaspoon of natural barbecue mesquite type into a pan. We're gonna let it simmer till it becomes sauce-like or a very thick paste.